Let's write a C program to find GCD of two numbers input by the user using repeated subtraction method. So here is the simple logic. We write a while loop and iterate through this while loop until num1 is not equal to num2. Once num1 and num2 are equal, the control exits this while loop. Okay, this is the condition inside while loop. So inside while loop, what we do is we check the biggest of two numbers that is num1 and num2. If num1 is bigger than num2, then we subtract num2 from num1 and store it back inside num1. So if num2 is greater than num1, then we subtract num1 from num2 and store it back inside num2. We do this until num1 is equal to num2. So finally at the end, that is we find the end when num1 is equal to num2. So at the end, whatever is present inside num1 or num2 is the greatest common divisor of those two numbers input by the user. So I'll show you an example. If the user enters num1 as 20 and num2 as 15, num1 is greater here. So num1 minus num2 will be stored inside num1, which will be 5. Again, compare these two numbers. Here num2 is greater than num1. So num2 minus num1 is equal to num2. In this case, 10 will be stored in num2. So compare once again because num1 and num2 are not equal yet. So num2 is greater. So num2 minus num1 will be stored inside num2. Now num1 and num2 are equal. So greatest common divisor of 20 and 15 is 5. Simple. Let's write the C program for this. I'll take two integer variables num1 and num2. I'll ask the user to enter two positive integer numbers. One drawback with this is since we are using multi, uh, since we are using subtraction here, we can't calculate GCD for negative numbers. Okay, so enter two positive integer numbers, and we will store that inside address of variables that is integer variables num1 and num2. I'll print a, a statement here that is half of the result here, <laughs> just the statement because we will be modifying the values of num1 and num2 at the end we won't get these numbers so let me print it now itself so the greatest common divisor of percentage d and percentage d is with a space with no new line character at the end will print the values of num1 and num2 at the end you will know why i did this so while num1 is not equal to num2 this is the condition so until this is true keep on executing this iterating this while loop okay until num1 is not equal to num2 keep iterating through this while loop so if num1 is greater than num2 if this condition is true get inside if block then num1 is equal to num1 minus num2 simple else else num2 is big right so num2 is equal to num2 minus num1 simple thing once num1 and num2 are equal the condition is false and while the control exits this while loop so i'll continue writing this printf statement here and print the result with a new line character so result will be present inside either num1 or num2 because this while loop exits only when both num1 and num2 are equal so let's check the result 15 and 20 should give 5 as the greatest common divisor let me reverse the input that is 20 and 15 it should give fires gcd as well and it's working for negative numbers it doesn't work minus 15 and 20 let's try that greatest common divisor of minus 20 and minus 15 and 20 is it doesn't print the result so to solve that let me write a if block and convert the negative number to positive or else i'll, I'll simply write a ternary operator the condition is if num1 is less than 0 okay what does that mean if num1 is less than 0 what does that mean that means the number num1 entered by the user is is a negative number in that case return minus num1 that's it simple or else simply return the num1 so what's the logic behind this minus num1 if the user has entered minus 15 so minus of minus 15 is plus 15 simple logic let's do the same for num2 so at the end we will have num1 and num2 as both as positive value irrespective of what sign user enters so minus 15 and 20 should give 5 as gcd and the same works for 20 and minus 15 let me give minus 15 it still gives 5 as 
greatest common divisor. So let me try for one more input. I'll give first value as 1980 and second value as 1617. So 33 should be the GCD and it's working. That's great. This is how we find GCD of two numbers using repeated subtraction method. So this is the logic. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on your WhatsApp, Telegram, WeChat or maybe Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.